In this video, we're going to talk about brain ventricles, which are fluid filled cavity in our brain. Here you can see the brain from a sagittal view and a coronal view. So the first we'll talk about the lateral ventricles. These ventricles are the biggest ventricle in the entire brain. There are two lateral ventricles right and the left, and these are situated just below the corpus callosum tract. After the lateral ventricles, there are third ventricle, which are situated adjacent to the thalamus and hypothalamus. That means they are diencephalic ventricles. So the lateral ventricle and the third ventricle are interconnected via the foramen of Monroe. This is the passageway of the cerebrospinal fluid from lateral ventricle to the third ventricle. Then comes the fourth ventricle. Fourth ventricle is situated adjacent to the cerebellum. And fourth ventricle is connected to the third ventricle with the help of cerebral aqueduct. Now this is a 3D view which shows the lateral ventricles, then the third ventricle, and finally in the bottom you can see the fourth ventricle. If we zoom into these ventricles, we can see it, these ventricles are lined by choroid plexus. This choroid plexus secretes cerebrospinal fluid which flows through these uh, area around the brain and eventually it gets absorbed. So choroid plexus is the production hub for cerebrospinal fluid and CSF circulates throughout the ventricles and get collected and reabsorbed in arachnoid granulations. There are three choroid plexus lining the three ventricles the lateral ventricle choroid plexus or telencephalic choroid plexus, then the diencephalic choroid plexus which lines the third ventricle and lastly the fourth ventricular choroid plexus or hindbrain choroid plexus. Each of these choroid plexus can secrete cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid is kind of like a filtrate of the blood plasma. So here is the choroid epithelia, here is the blood and here is the CSF. Apart from fluidy stuff, CSF also has several proteins, molecules and growth factors which regulate several functions of the brain. CSF maintains the cranial pressure and protects the brain from any kind of mechanical damage. Also choroid plexus forms the blood CSF barrier. It prevents any harmful substance entering in the brain from the blood. Apart from these functions. Choroid plexus can also secrete important growth factors that could drive the differentiation of the stem cells in the brain. In short, choroid plexus secretes growth factors that would help in the neurogenesis program. Now let's talk about situations where the ventricle goes bigger. And this situation is known as hydrocephalus. When there is a several time increase in the ventricular pressure. There is an enlarged ventricle which lead to an increased pressure in the overall brain. And that could be leading due to uh, a problem in the CSF circulation or let's say overproduction of the CSF. One such example is cerebra cerebral aqueduct stenosis. In this case, the cerebral aqueduct which is the connection between third and the fourth ventricle is blocked. That means CSF cannot circulate freely through these ventricles. That lead to accumulation of the CSF and production of hydrocephalus. So this is one form of obstructive hydrocephalus. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram. Links are provided in the description. Support our channel using super thanks. See you in next video.